This week on the Ross Report, I traveled to Boca Raton, Florida, where the University of Alabama team was stationed for their winter break training trip. I caught up with senior Robert Howard, right now one of the top sprinters in the NCAA. But Howard is just a small town kid from Alexander City, Alabama. He sent for Auburn's club team, just two hours away from Tuscaloosa, but came to Bama because of his family ties to the school. I've been a, I mean, I've been a big Alabama fan my whole life. I always wanted to go to Alabama. My dad went to Alabama. I mean, I've, I've been going to games for years, football games, so. I mean, I'm just, a, it's in my blood. Howard is in his senior year for the Tide, where he studies accounting and real estate. After he has finished competing for Alabama in the spring, he will represent Team USA this summer at the World University Games in Italy. Howard actually had a goal to make the World University Games team in 2017, but failed to reach the B final in both of his events at Nationals that year and did not qualify for the meet. So I remember telling Jonty in the car in Indianapolis, I was like, I think I'm just, just gonna take the rest of the summer off and just kinda lift a little bit more and not really train for US Open because that was what we were going to do and he's like no you're, you're not going to do that like you can't just run away from it. So after two disappointing trials meets in a row Howard had no expectations heading into the 2017 US Open at the end of the summer. I took like a couple of days off for 4th of July I was back at home. The year before I didn't swim as well at trials and then this year I kind of didn't swim as well or that meet I didn't swim as well and then I just kind of like well you know what's what's the worst that can happen I just had a kind of had a different mindset was just like just see what I can do and not put so much pressure on myself which was kind of unneeded and at that meet he went two new best times in the sprint free events including a gold in the hundred free Howard carried that momentum from the summer into the college season and finished seventh in the 50 free and 10th in the 100 not bad for his first year swimming individual events at NCAAs citing the 2017 US Open as the turning point in his career since that meet I've grown a lot in terms of just not worrying about if I'm tapered enough, you know, all this external stuff that I can't control, just, you know, every day coming in, working on things that I can, and if I don't feel good, I don't feel good, but not being too stressed out about everything. He currently has ranked fifth in the nation in the 50, and second in the 100 free. With record holder Caleb Dressel out of the picture, it's anyone's game to take home the sprint free titles in March. But Howard says he's trying not to think about that too much. Oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think about it, but when I think about it, I try to, like, stop myself and just say, well, Thinking about that is not going to help me. And then whenever I think about that, I come back to the present and just think about what I can do right now, improve. And of course I think about it, but everybody is, I think. So for a guy who has had football season tickets since 2005, what would it mean to win an individual national title for the University of Alabama? Uh, it'd be awesome. I mean, it'd be pretty crazy, I think. I remember coming in and just like looking at like Christian Golomev and Amy Anton. He never won individually, but to be with those guys, those, I put those guys on such a role model status and it'd be, it'd be crazy. I mean, kid from Alex City won a national championship. That'd be pretty awesome. But like mentioned earlier, Howard is not focusing on outside expectations, instead focusing on having fun in his last year of swimming for the University of Alabama. I'm just trying to score as many points as I can for the team and hopefully at SECs and NCs too we can do well in the relays. I mean, I'm just trying to be a leader for the team and try to lead the way for these young guys because we got so many young guys on the team. I mean once I'm gone and uh, Laurent Lou is gone and then the next year Zane's gone so after that I mean people have to step up and so I'm just trying to hopefully be a leader for them outside the pool in the pool show them you know this is this is what you can do it's possible. Howard said he wants to swim through the 2020 trials just to see what happens. And even if that relaxed attitude he has doesn't lead to a spot on the Olympic team, it could still lead to a medal at the World University Games this summer, or perhaps even an NCAA title. You know, if two award Jalen starts, I think I think we'll I think it'll be all right. I don't I really don't see their defense putting up much of a challenge. And I mean, Kyler Murray's really good, but. Um, I think Georgia was the best, second best team in the country, and we got through that game, so I, I don't know. I, I think we'll be all right. I hope we'll be all right.